we define manliness in terms of aggression. You see, because we are not, we're a little bit frightened as to whether we are really men. And so we put on this great show of being a tough guy. Uh, it's completely unnecessary. Uh, it, it, you know, if you have what it takes, you don't need to put on that show. You don't need to beat nature into submission. Why be hostile to nature? Because after all, you are a symptom of nature. Let me just interject something here that is rather important. Biological existence is such that you have to kill to live. That's just necessary. You've got to eat. People go to the supermarket and they uh, get a whole cartload of goodies and they drive it through and then the clerk fixes up the counter and this long tape comes out and you say thirty dollars please and everybody feels depressed. That's just necessary. You've got to eat. possible solution of the dilemma that we are in ethically that we have to 
eat in order to, to live. That being is killing. The only possible solution to this dilemma is to reverence food and to cook it as well as possible and enjoy it to the full. See, the physical world is wiggling. The clouds, mountains, trees, people are all wiggling. When you uh, want to get control of something that wiggles, it's pretty difficult, isn't it? You try and pick up a fish in your hands and the fish is wiggly and it slips out. What do you do to get hold of the fish?